Hello everyone, uh, it's Usman Nasir from Cyber Panel and uh, today I want to record this video on how to like properly debug Cyber Panel if something goes wrong. Uh, we have a detailed article on our community, uh, the title of this article are log files on Cyber Panel uh, that you can go through and see uh, where is specific log files that you can see if something goes wrong. So if something goes wrong uh, in cyber panel like uh, WordPress installation is not working, you are not able to create website, then this is the URL uh, you can go to. If you come to your cyber panel, this will be av available here. So this uh, log file basically tells you uh, if something goes wrong inside cyber panel. And, uh, if you want to enable detailed logs, uh, for example, you are trying to install WordPress and WordPress in install is not working. So you can uh, copy this uh, path and open your cyber panel terminal and just uh, touch this file. This file will be created and then you will have extensive logs. So for example, uh, you have created this file and you can then go back and do what you was trying to do. For example, you was uh, trying to deploy WordPress. You can come here and uh, you can like deploy WordPress and uh, see if you are able to create WordPress or not. If you if something goes wrong and WordPress is not deployed, uh, then you will get detailed log that why it is uh, not working. I will just show you that uh, how it actually works just give me a second i will get create website and then you can come back here and run this command and you can see that everything is uh, printed here you can see all the commands and everything is uh, printed here in details so you can check here and you will be able to find that why something is not working so this is related to cyber panel if uh, something goes wrong in your cyber panel now what happens uh, sometimes people uh, upgrade cyber panel and they are then not able to access cyber panel for various reasons uh, what they do is uh, they like some people change their uh, mysql root password and which creates problem so there is an article some don't which uh, tell that what should you should not do uh, after installing cyber panel there is this file which is the configuration file for uh, cyber panel if you have if you are a, a django and python developer you might be familiar with this file uh, the first thing uh, that you can do is you can open this file uh, i am talking about uh, when you upgrade your cyber panel and for some reason cyber panel is not working you can turn this normally on default cyber panel installation it is false you can change this to true and i will uh, create some error here by changing the mysql password so that you can see all right so i will for example give a wrong password here i will save this file and i will restart lscpd so once i restart lscpd uh, and I go back to cyber panel again and you will see that I will get an error and you can see that this uh, the password for cyber panel user is not working now uh, cyber, when cyber panel installs uh, the root password is stored here in this file this is your mysql root, pa root password so make sure that in your settings file uh, you have the same root password uh, here you can see that this is also the same password that we got from the uh, file and this uh, this password is for the cyber panel user so if you have a uh, root if you have your mysql root password you can uh, uh, log into mysql using your mysql root password 
and here you can reset password for cyber panel user then make sure that the password for root user and the cyber panel user is correct you can verify this from command line so there are two things here one is that the password for cyber panel user and password for the root user should be correct in this file so once both of uh, both of these are correct uh, you can uh, then rest uh, save this file restart cyber panel using the same uh, restart lscpd command and you will be able to see that my uh, cyber panel again working we can uh, i can uh, recorrect the password and we can see that cyber panel will start working I think it's on top so all right I will remove this a I will restart lscpd and make sure if everything is working right then you turn on the debug and turn it off and you can see that I can access cyber panel again now uh, there are some more things that uh, you must also have correct a root password in this file as well so if you have changed your cyber panel uh, mysql root password if this file exists then make sure that this file also have correct root password for mysql root user and then you can restart cyber panel and uh, and in case you have changed your cyber panel uh, mysql root password update in this file in this file and in this file so if you have any other questions you can uh, contact our support as well thank you